All right, so here we go. Do a short little uh, review for you for the uh, upcoming test on uh, some of the basics out of the welding math. First things first, as we as we look at a tape measure, um, we, we can see the tape measure. These are full inches from five to six. So if I looked for uh, the first reading at, at one here, I would say this is 6.0 inches. If I look for 2, this is where 2 is. Now you'll notice 6 is here and 7 is here. This is exactly halfway and it's the largest line uh, between the two major graticules here. So this largest line would be 6.5 inches. And I would also accept uh, 6 and 1 half inches. Alright, so let's go to 3. 3 is right here. You'll notice now we've got 1, 2, 3 fourths. So it's 1 fourth of the full range. So it's 5 plus a quarter. So I could write 5.25 inches um, or 5 and 1 quarter inches. Number 4. Number 4 here now We've got to see what this little line is here. How many of these little lines are there? Well, there's there's one, two, every two of them count. Three, four, five, six. This is on the seventh one out of an eight total. So this four represents six and seven eighths. Uh, I don't know what the, uh, so we'll just write six and seven eighths inches. All right, and then finally five. 5 is going to be right here, and now you can see at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, that's 7 of whatever these are, 8, so if halfway is 8, then there's 16 of them total, so that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 to right there, 7 sixteenths, so it's 5 and 7 sixteenths inches. So that's the basics of reading your tape measure. Now converting to proper fractions. So th this is an improper fraction because the numerator is bigger than the denominator. So I want to take out all of the 32's. So if I subtract, I, there's at least a couple of 32's in here. It looks like uh, 64, uh, you know, 32 times 3 would be 96. So there's at least three 32's in here. So there's three and then if you do a little math over here, 32 times 3, that equals 3 times 2 is 6, 3 times 3 is 9, that's 96. So I can take 96 away from the, that 99, and that leaves 3 left. So it's 3 and 3 30 seconds is what that proper fraction would be, or mixed number. Mm -hmm. This one's a little easier to look at. I can see that there's definitely an 8 up here. There isn't two of them, though, because it's not 16 or bigger. So there's only one. So it's 1 and then whatever is left if I subtract 8 away. So 1 and 3 eighths would be the same as 11 eighths. And if you were unsure, if you wanted to check your result, one of the things you can do is you can take 8 times 1 is 8, plus 3 is 11, that goes back to 11 eighths. So that's just a, a check to make sure that my answer was correct. All right, adding mixed numbers. So we've got mixed numbers here. One of the problems, first of all, we, we want to just be able to add up the the whole numbers, which we can do, but we can't add up the fractions unless the denominator is the same. Um, so in this case, 25 30 seconds is kind of my limiting factor. So I want everything in 30 seconds. Um, so in this case, 3 and 11 sixteenths becomes, I need to double the bottom to get up to 30 seconds. I'm going to double the bottom and double the top. Do the same thing. Multiply the bottom by 2, I'm going to multiply the top by 2 so I don't change the fraction. So it becomes 3 and 22 30 seconds. And I'm going to add that up to 5 and 25 30 seconds. And finally, this in 30 seconds. Well, the bottom would have to multiply by 8, so the top has to multiply by 8. So it's going to be 3 and 24 30 seconds. Again, the reason why is because 4 times 8 gets me to 30 seconds, so I have to multiply the top 3 times 8. 24. If I add all these guys up, I get 8 and 3 is 11, 22 and 25 is 47, 
plus 20 would be 67 plus 4 would be 71 30 seconds. And now hopefully some of you guys are saying, oh, well, wait a second, that's an improper fraction there. So how many 30 seconds are in 71? Well, there's at least 2, because 2 times 32 is 64. So that's going to add to my 11. So it's going to be 13. And 64 from 71 would be 7 30 seconds. So this would be the correct answer for that one. Subtracting mixed numbers. All right, so again, we want the, the, the denominators to be the same. So I need to convert this one. It's going to become 8 and 11 sixteenths. I want to go up to 30 seconds. So this would be 22, 30 seconds. And subtract 5 and 9, 30 seconds. It's going to give me 3. And 9 plus 13, 3 and 13, 30 seconds would be my answer there. Not too bad. This one's not quite as trivial. I need to get sixteenths on both of them. Um, so 5 and 3 sixteenths is fine. However, I want to subtract 2 and 3 quarters. Well, I need 3 quarters to be expressed in sixteenths. So 4 times 4 would be 16. 3 times 4 would be 12. So 2 and 12 sixteenths. Now we still have a problem here. Because if I subtract 12 from 3, I get a negative number. So I need this number to get bigger, okay? Um, bigger than the, the numerator on the bottom here. So I can borrow one from this 5. That makes that a 4. And then I can add 16 sixteenths to this one, which is going to equal, which is going to equal 4 and 19 sixteenths minus 2 and 12 sixteenths. That's going to give me 2 and 7 Oops, I advanced there. 2 and 7 sixteenths. Oops, keep hitting the wrong button there. 2 and 7 sixteenths is my final answer. 4 minus 2 is 2. 19 minus 12 is 7. Get out of there for a second. All right, on to the next one here, adding decimals. Um, so when you, when you add decimals, the, the key to adding decimals is really keeping your decimal points lined up. So 6.725 plus 3.400 plus 1.520. Key is just keeping everything lined up. And then the 5 plus 0 plus 0 is 5. 2 plus 2 is 4. 7 plus 4 is 11 plus 5 is 16. 16, I carry that 1 over. Uh, 1 plus 6 is 7, plus 3 is 10, plus 1 is 11. 11.645 11 for that particular problem right there. Converting to a decimal. Um, so on this one, we've got 1 and some death decimal portion. Um, so the way you do that is you take 16 and you divide it into 9. Um, so let's see doesn't go into 9, so it's 0 point something. In this case, we'll have a 1, but the decimal portion then 16 times, oh, what's 16 times 5? Let's just see that. Uh, 6 times 5 is 30. 3, that's 80. I was right. So that's 3. So then 80 comes down. So now how many times does it go into 100? Well, if I did one more, we'd have 96. So uh, 3.4, so 96, and I'm going to go, uh, this will be 9, 10, 4. So now 16 into 40, it goes 2, would be 32. Uh, 3, 10 minus 2 is 8. Go back into 80, and it's 5. So my answer here, this is the, just the decimal portion. This is just the 9 sixteenths part. So it's 1. 1.3425, because I also need the whole number part. So that's your answer right there, 1.3425. Converting to a fraction. If I want to convert this into some value in sixteenths, um, 
then what I need to do is I need to, I, again, I'm going to have 1 and some 16ths. I take 0 0.5, 625. I'm going to multiply that by 16. Uh, 6 times 5 is 30. 6 times 2 is 12. 15. 6 times 6 is 36. Plus 1 is 7. 37. 3. 6 times 5 is 30. Plus 3 is 33. Uh, 5 times 1 is 5. Goes right there. 2, uh, 6, and 5. So I get 0, 0, carry the 1. This becomes a 0, carry the 1. 0, carry the 1. It's 9 with four decimal places, 9.000. So this number, this number, this part here is nine sixteenths. So it's one and nine sixteenths is my answer. Converting units. Um, one of the things I need to remember about when converting units is 1,000 millimeters is equal to 100 decimeters, which is equal to, oops, which is equal to, uh, 10 centimeters. Oh, I screwed this one up here actually. Screwed that one up. Let me fix that real quick here. Eraser. All right. 1,000 millimeters is equal to 100 centimeters, centimeter meaning 100, is equal to 10 decimeters, which is, e deci means 10, which is equal to one meter. So 500 millimeters would be equal, if 1,000 millimeters is 100 centimeters, then half of 1,000 millimeters would be a half of 100 centimeters, would be 50 centimeters, um, which 50 centimeters then would be equal to five decimeters, which would be equal to 0 0.5 meters. And then down here, 4.9 meters is equal to some value in yards. Well, if I know there's 1.1 yards in a meter, I can take my 4.9 meters, multiply it by 1.1 1 .1 yards, 94094. I get one decimal place, so 9131. It's 53, is that right? No, it's gotta be 5.39, oh yeah, two decimal places there. It's 5.39 yards. And a good gut check there is that you should see that it's close, they're close. So 4.9 meters isn't gonna be 53 yards, it's gonna be 5.39 yards. 5.6 inches into centimeters, so one inch is 2.5 centimeter, 2.54 centimeters, so 2.54 times 5.6, 24, 2, 32, 3, 2 times 6 is 12, 15, 0, 20, carry the 2, 25, 27, 2, 10, 12. I've got three decimal places now. So this is 4, 2, 12, 1, 14.224, 14.224 centimeters. And 10, 10 feet 6 inches, I know that there's 30.48 centimeters in a foot. Um, careful here on this 6, that actually means 10 and a half feet, right? So 10.5 times, uh, let's do it over here, 30. 0.48 times 10.5. Uh, 8 times 5 is 40. 4 times 5 is 24. This is a 2. 5 times 3 is 15. 0, 0, 0. This is zeros all the way across. Then I'm going to have 0, 0. Uh, so this is 1 times 8 is 8. 1 times 4 is 4. 1 times 0 is 0. 1 times 3 is 3. Three decimal places. So three decimal places takes me uh, 0, 4, 10, carry the 1, 10, carry the 1, that's 2, 
320, 320.04 centimeters. And finally, some metric addition. Um, the key on this is we want to convert these things into all of the same values. So I'm just going to start out with 32.5 centimeters. 32.5 centimeters. 232.6 millimeters. Notice there's one decimal difference between millimeters and centimeters. So I'm going to move this decimal over one place. That's going to become 23.26 centimeters. And then 6.1 decimeters. You'll notice that decimeters to centimeters, there's one decimal, but I gain a zero here. So this is going to go this way. This is going to become 61.00 centimeters. So I get 11, oh, no, excuse me, that's 6. I should put a 0 there just to make sure. 5 and 2 is 7, and 6, and 5 and 6 is 11. So that's 116.76 centimeters. And hopefully that helps you out on preparation for both the test and uh, the homework that you're working on for this week.